Hi friends, today I am going to cover architecture pillars. This is most frequently asked question in any architect interview. It could be cloud or it could be any general solution architecture as well. So you must need to know what are the pillars. Here six pillars are listed operational excellence, security, reliability, performance, efficient, cost, optimization and sustainability. So if you want to design any architecture on the cloud or outside the cloud, these are the six parameters you usually need to consider. Operational excellence is something like how you operate uh, efficiently. It could be writing some kind of automation in piece or uh, anticipating the failures and be ready for that or learn from all operational failures. Security is something like how well you are protecting your whole system. It could be like enabling the firewalls, enabling the traceability, apply security at all the layers and uh, adapting the best practices protect data while transiting the uh, channels, keep people away from data, prepare for security events. In the reliability, automatically recover from failure. If something happens like your VM instance is gone, your complete uh, reason is down, then automatically how do you recover? Test recovery procedures, scale horizontally to increase aggregate workload uh, availability, stop guessing capacity and manage change in automation. Performance efficiency uh, includes the ability to use the computing resources efficiently to meet the system requirements and to maintain that efficiency as demand changes and technologies evolve. For example, you are going to expand your business to the other countries or geos, then automatically you should be ready to expand your servers or systems to the global level. That is where the glo go global in minutes. Uh, leverage all your advanced technologies use serverless architectures, experiment more often, consider mechanical sympathy. These are the perf performance efficient design pillars or principles I can say. Cost optimization, as it name says, you have to optimize your cost in various uh, mechanisms and models. So these are the design principles for the cost optimization, implement cloud principle management, adapt a consumption model, measure overall efficiency regularly, Stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy liftings, analyze and attribute expenditure. If this is not there in the place, then you are going to end up paying heavy invoices and heavy bills. Sustainability is something like how do you address long term environmental, economic and the social impact of your business activities. So you can follow these design principles under the sustainability to address those long-term environmental, economic and social impact on your business. Understand your impact, establish sustainability goals, maximize utilization, anticipate and adapt new, more efficient hardware and software offerings, use managed services as much as you can, reduce the downstream impact of your cloud workloads. So these design pillars or architecture pillars are very helpful for the technology guys, especially say you are working for the CTO office or you are a CTO or architect or you are a developer even. So you will need to definitely know these architecture pillars to design a nice architecture, sustainable architecture. Coming to the design considerations, there are plenty of parameters. The previous one was the architecture pillars and this is the design consideration. Many people get confused between these two. So design considerations are scalability, load balancing, monitoring, logging. Within the architecture, how do you address all these things? Right. So few architectures may need to definitely have a notifications when it is failed uh, or when something is going to happen. And then how do you back up and restore those servers? How do you scale your systems? How do you load balance? How do you monitor? Uh, how do you log every issue or you know every activity that is happening in each and every resource of your cloud? How are you protecting your systems? Where is your storage and how your storage is being managed? Rules and policies, uh, automation piece in picture or architecture, high availability, disaster recovery and failover. These all need to be considered while you are designing a, or drawing an architecture. So these are the design considerations and architecture pillars are different in the which we have seen in the previous slide thanks for my, watching my videos 